Okay, guys, today I'm gonna quickly show you how to use Easy Water Generator. Okay, in my case, Easy Water Generator is in my asset browser. In your case, if it's not in your asset browser, you will append the collection. Okay, so in my case, asset browser, drag and drop, press Ctrl Z to bring the collection. Okay, so this is the water system you guys know already. All right, here we go. You know how to use it for who that has it, for who that never touched on this piece of uh, product. You can go to uh, the link in the description, which in, I explain how to use that in the release of it. In this video, I'm going to show you just the changes and the updates, okay? The new tools. Look at that. First of all, it has, it came with the name. And it's the same water system, you see, press tab, animate, that's it. But the difference is now that you have the dynamic paint here and you have extras. In these extras, that leaves the new tools, okay? If you want to hide it, you will see that is a floating object and that is interactive object modifier, okay? Floating object, it's very self-explanatory, the name, it's for objects that you want to be floating around the water. Okay, so you that's just a plane or mesh. You can kind of uh, do whatever you want in terms of uh, putting the planes wherever you want or give it any shape that you want. Okay, it's just a, it's just a plane. That's just a plane. Okay, but this plane came with this geometry node, which is floating object in water surface. Let's go water surface first. First select the, 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 the drop and select the water okay i want these guys to be floating on this water surface okay and which guys now you go to floating mode object and then you have collections or objects and in this case in here i think i have this collections this collection here which is called objects so i will choose collection and it could be any collection Okay, drag and drop here, so bam, voila. Now the objects are simply floating in your water system, okay? And uh, this water system is, it can be in size, you know, it's up to you, okay? So in these floating objects, you have the controls of like a regular scat scatter, okay? But you have to put on zero frame because it's a simulation. If you have this simulating here and then you change it here, nothing's gonna happen, okay? Just go back to your first frame and then change it and do as you want, okay? Let's say this is good, okay? So you have scale, you can scale up, you can randomize it a little bit here and there, you know? Uh, and move on Z, maybe you want to sync them a little bit more like this, okay? So, yeah. And then you have inside floating objects, inside options, you have interactive mode, which means that if you have, for example, a cube here, okay, let's reduce the size of this cube. Okay, if you have this cube here, you can go to interactive mode and choose, for example, the cube. Okay, now that you choose your cube, the object will interact, will interact with your cube because uh, when you are in the water and an object approach floating objects, there is a physical thing that makes the the objects nearby like being pushed out, okay, because of the wave. So that's the more or less the effect, okay, that you will have here, right? So yeah, something like that, okay. At this point, these objects are not preventing from going inside each other. Okay, let me. This only works if you have the animation going on. Okay, so you see the objects are going inside each other, and that's something for the future. Okay, but for now, that's how it works. Okay, and another thing, another new tool is interactive mode object. See interactive mode objects. The only thing you have to do is grab your object, select your interactive mode object, and press Ctrl L. That's a default shortcut in Blender. 
and press copy modifiers. Okay. Now this guy here has a property, has a modifier here that will allow this guy to simply, you know, interact with the water. Okay. So you can animate your objects. Let's do this now. Here, for example, press one, press I, not one. And here, uh, go more or less something like this. Press I again. Okay. Now, if we play the animation, that's gonna happen. Okay. And yeah, those are the changes. I think uh, those are very good for extra realism. For I did these changes because I need to create similar effects for one animation, uh, which is this one. This one, right? I'm going to show you here. I've created this animation last week, the crocodile. And then for the water, I've been using flip fluid simulations. It's an item. But I need, I need to have objects floating around uh, the gallery and interacting interacting a little bit with the crocodile as the crocodile passed by and I couldn't find a way of doing that in unfortunately in uh, flip fluid so I unified my tool with flip, flip, flip fluid basically I did all the flip fluid simulation first the mesh is here this is flip fluid and then I applied my water generator on top of that so this means that uh, my crocodile, this means that this is a flip fluid mesh with my water uh, to apply it on top of it. So this means that now my crocodile moves and the objects interact with it. Okay. Uh, let me show you. Also, because it's my water generator, so I could use the volume to create a volume beneath it, okay? That's how you have the feeling that the water here, the camera is half up, half uh, drop it in the water, and then you can see the bottle of your water with volume. That gives extra realism, okay? And yeah, I think that was a great addition to the overall thing and I hope you guys like it. Uh, if you like my channel, uh, subscribe. If you like my videos, uh, thumbs up. I improved my camera now and the audio system. I, I was having lots of problems with my audio. The people are complaining, so I kind of improved it a little bit. Now it's supposed to not happen anymore. And if you are interested in some of my products like Easy Water, uh, other things, you go to the links in the description as well. And yeah, I hope you guys like this update. I like it a lot. I'm very happy with it. And I'll see you soon. Bye bye.